Hi DLRs, Joe from Alarm Grid, and today we're going to show you how to connect a two-wire smoke to your Qualsys IQ2 using a 16F translator. First thing that you need to know about the translator is that you need to have the two-wire smoke connected to it before we program it to the panel. If you did connect it to the translator after programming it to the panel, you will have to reset the translator to get it fresh, connect your two-wire smoke, and then interface it with your panel. To do that though is really easy. All that we have to do is unplug, whoops, unplug our 16F. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna hold down the memory reset button. And then I'm gonna replug in the 16F. And in a couple seconds, the lights are gonna flash rapidly, which is gonna show me that this device has been reset. That rapid blink tells me that this device is now factory reset and ready to go. Another thing is before you install it, you're going to want to make sure that all your zones are uh, have resistors attached to them and that the tamper is in place. Really you want this thing completely set up before you do any programming into the system. You'll notice that on our two wire smoke zone, we do have a resistor that is connected in parallel with the smoke. That's also needed. Now that we have this reset, we're ready to program it to our system. On your system though, your Qualsys IQ2 is gonna have to have at least version 11.1.4 for its RF pick to be able to interface with the 16F. To check that, we slide down from the top, settings, advanced settings, 2222 is the default. We go to about, hardware, and then we scroll down. You see our RF pick version is 11.1.5 G260, which is perfectly usable for this device. So we're good to go. So if we go back to the main menu, I'm going to slide down from the top, and now we're going to go into programming to add in our 16F. Maybe. We got it. Settings, advanced settings, 2222. Installation, devices, security sensors, auto learn sensor. So the serial number on the 16F is on this little sticker right here, which is useful when we're programming it in just to make sure that it learns in the right serial number. If you have wireless motions around the house and somebody walks by when you're trying to do this programming, you may see that pop up. So this lets you confirm that that's actually that. To do this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna undo one leg of the tamper and that's gonna trigger the system to learn, or that's gonna trigger the 16F to talk to the system to learn it in. Before we undo the one leg of the tamper, we do have to put the 16F into its learning mode. To do that, I'm gonna press the EOL learn button And as you can see, the EOL cal is now illuminated. So when I loosen up the tamper terminal and it loses connection, the system has received a signal. And the 4B44AD is the serial number that is on our 16F telling us that that is that device. So I'm gonna hit okay. Now it's important to change the sensor type on your system when you learn it in, because as you can see, Sensor type defaults to door and window. This is not a door and a window sensor, it's a hardwired translator. So I need to click sensor type, scroll down, and select hardwired translator. Click add new, and now we've added the 16F itself to the system. The next thing that we wanna do is we wanna add in our two wire smoke to our system. As we have it connected to the 16F, by triggering our smoke, we should get it to show up on our panel. So to do this, I'm gonna do a functional test. I'm gonna do rather a, a regular test on the, the smoke by hitting the test button inside here and holding it down. And we got it. Now to silence the smoke, I can just remove it from its base and then click it back on. I'm gonna click OK. And again, the sensor type, it's showing door and window. We wanna change this 
to a smoke detector. So I click that, I go down, down, I think I missed it, so we go back up, smoke detector. I'm going to click add new, and now we have our hardwired translator and our smoke detector programmed to our system. The last thing you want to do before we jump back into our main menu is get our 16F out of learn mode. <clears throat> the EOL Cal light is still illuminated, telling us that it is still in learn mode. To remove it from that, just hold your EOL Cal button, or your EOL learn button, the light turns off, and you're good to go. So I'm going to go back to the main menu. And now we should be ready to test our two-wire smoke. The best way to test a two-wire smoke is using can see, can smoke. This is literally smoke in a can and it will simulate an actual fire and tell you that your device is working properly. So, I'm just gonna make sure it's on its base, nice and secure. And I'm gonna take my smoke in a can, and I'm gonna blow it in the detector. It will turn off. Eventually. Whenever you do use smoke in a can, be aware that there still may be smoke lingering in the collection chamber of your smoke detector. So if it's still going off, one way that you can really clean it out is you just remove it. You'd have to remove the base from the front and then just pretty much blow out and clean out the chamber in here as the smoke will linger for a bit. But we have proven that we were able to successfully program our two wire smoke via the 16F to our Qualsys IQ2. If you do have any questions about this process, feel free to give us a call at 888-818-7728. Send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com or head to our website, www.alarmgrid.com. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe. And if you want to be notified when we post future videos, hit the notification button below and we'll send you an update when we do so. Thanks for watching and have a great day.